Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we are here for a special video. Uh, we are currently uh, getting ready to re react to um, Season 7, Episode 11 of Star Wars The Clone Wars, but I can't stop talking about last episode. I certainly can't stop watching the Darth Maul Ahsoka duel. So um, when really I good. saw this, it was, it was fantastic. And when I saw this video inside the final duel, uh, it came across my uh, my phone the other day, and I started to watch it. And as soon as I saw one part, I'm like, "Nope, got to watch it with Aaron." Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so All I right. turned it off, and uh, right here before we we watch the next episode, we're gonna watch. We're gonna go back a little bit and talk about this duel and and see what they have to say about the behind the scenes. Okay. So you excited, Aaron? <clears throat> yeah, sounds good. I mean, the the fight was. The best of Clone Wars, like best fight of Clone Wars yeah. to me. So, and I mean, there's yeah. still two more episodes. Maybe there's something else that's really good in there too. But I felt like yeah. this was top notch. It just every time I watch it, which I've watched it like at least twenty times, I, I'm seeing new things. Yeah, I haven't like watched more because Melanie isn't hasn't been watching. She's not. Caught yeah. Up. And then I found no, out I, recently that Melanie, I don't. She doesn't think that she's watched season six at all. So like uh, the stuff with like fives and. You know what I mean, like that stuff. Like, yeah, I get you. She, yeah, you didn't, she didn't watch that stuff, up. and I'm like, what? So I'm like, I, we need to get you through. She's like, I think I just need to start over and just watch through it all. I'm like, oh, all right. That ain't a bad thing. So we got <laughs> we got to go through all the Clone Wars yeah. now so that we can get I'm her just, like, uh, refreshed on uh, it. Especially on the Ahsoka side, like, cause you know, I think the eye is just drawn to Darth Maul no matter what fight he's in because you're so interested in that character. But yeah, as yeah. I'm watching, trying to watch more of Ahsoka stuff, I'm just appreciating more and more. I spent a, uh, whenever I was watching it during our our filming last week, mm -hmm. I watched a lot of Ahsoka's because I love the the yeah. dual wielding side of things, and I loved that's when I caught some of her moves like the behind the back block, and I love mm -hmm. her like flipping the handle, you know, the hilt back around and. There's some just really uh, good things. I love yeah. her like little like she has like these little dodgebacks, where it's just kind of yeah. like just a bop bop. But she just leans and dodges two of his like attacks. There's, there's some really great moves in there. She has a great move where she like spins on both knees like back yeah. to back. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, we gotta. Lauren, let's, I want to jump into Lori, this video. Lauren Mary, Lauren Kim, Mary, dang, yeah, something like that. She did a great job. Whatever her name she is. She did. Which you know, I uh, say Lauren Mary Kim or something like that. And then we also found out between videos that she actually was the stunt double for the armorer from Mandalorian, oh, okay. um, which is really cool. Someone was like, Aaron, you didn't go deep enough in her stunt career. I, I didn't, no. <laughs> so she has definitely has already a, a very strong Star Wars connection, but now she's part of one of the greatest tools that Star Wars has done. So yeah, that's she fantastic. Fight with Ray Park then, right? <laughs> well, I hope we I, – honestly, I just I want to watch this and maybe get to, to see more of, of all that stuff, and we'll talk about it after. So I said we okay. jump right into it, Aaron. All right. I wish we had more time to talk, but I have urgent information for both of you. What is it, Ahsoka? Lady bo and I have located the renegade Sith Lord Maul, and if we move swiftly, mm. we believe we can capture him. It's so epic, dude. Uh -huh. it's such an epic like, The Siege of Mandalore is Siege. one of the last large battles Dave? in the series. Yeah, I can listen to Dave all day. The final climactic battle for Ahsoka and Captain Rex in the Clone Wars, and how that time period parallels and crosses over with the film Revenge of the Sith. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. The fans Good. have been clamoring yeah. for Good. it ever since we stopped making ah, Clone look at that Wars. cosplay. <laughs> They've been so loyal. I just wanted to make sure that we could do it to a level that, that they would. Feel was oh, I love his shirt. Right way. Yeah. His design there. And I think we've done some of our best works. I was hoping for Kenobi. Why are you here? Why are you here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This one versus Maul fight was brief. I wanted this fight to be big. It got me thinking, and I, I've known Ray for a <laughs> Ray, while. Yeah. Why don't we bring Ray in? I stopped so, watching solo. right here. I'm <laughs> solo. Oh, yeah. You know, one more time physically fighting. Oh, look at that 22-year-old so man. We oh, see episode Maul one, man. Fighting. It's going to be uh, fighting. Dude, look at him in there. Amazing to play Darth Maul again. I love the way he, he spins it around. hitting it hard, you know, yeah. coming up with some new stuff. It's been really nice. <laughs> His eyes, man. He always does that. Yeah. You know, oh, butterfly yeah, twists and flips and corkscrews. There you know, she is. Fun. 
we get the speed of Maul, we get moved. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Ahsoka Tana? Yeah, and yes. Sam. Yes. What can you these arrogance? Please show more find great stuff. Many qualities for you to dislike. And then I'm finally taking Ray's yes. performance and Sam's performance and putting them together. Dude, I love them working together, like talking about Me too, them all yeah, together and stuff. Somebody that could, you know, portray Ahsoka physically. <laughs> Whoa! I'm really honored. Yeah. That was really good. With Ray Parkman, it's been nothing but a great journey, and we've been collaborating. Camp, and yeah. The fans will really like this fight. It's really grounded, rooted, but then there's a lot of actiony moves that I think the fans will really. Man, like. he's so good. Lauren was brilliant. Oh, there's, hey, there's, there's your knee spin thing. Honing in on. Yeah, the, the little dodges. They're just fun. Yeah. That we wanted Ahsoka to do very quick, very acrobatic. Oh, there's a spin. It's hopefully one of the best yeah. flip. did, if not the best lightsaber fight. Did it live in the set? Lauren's really fast because she's using two lightsabers. There's a timing, there's a beat. It's like you're dancing, you feel an energy from the other person. That's <laughs> Maul. Yeah, it's Maul. It's Maul. It's Maul. It is Maul. Yeah, here's <laughs> Sam. It's Maul. Using uh. the cap for the first time. All those sort of subtle nuances that Ray is <laughs> able to bring to Maul were just so helpful. We can't have it just be mocap. So we had to really take it and kind of make it so it fit within the style of Clone Wars. Faster lightsaber hits, a little higher jumping, stronger poses, things like that that we kind of look for. It's all a collaboration between the voice actors. The only question is, who finishes their mission first? The reference we got from the stage, it's everybody coming together and then the lighting team takes it all to another level. Yeah. Uh, oh hell yeah, dude! It's great. I'm trying. I want to watch both sides. I know, <laughs> man. He's to put this important. He story can sell really movements so sell. good. He's very Down. good, man. To not leave that there with just plans and a sketchbook. It feels like a proper ending. Oh, that was great concept art, man. Uh, yeah, it looked just like what he did, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, all right. Is it over? I that think was, it's over. That wasn't long enough. I want to see more. It wasn't. No, I wanted to see the whole fight just <laughs> from their point of view, you know? Yeah, no, I'm I'm glad Ooh, that man. they spent the time doing, doing yeah. that exactly, you know? Because, like, you could have done, like, some mocap of, like, one person maybe trying to do it, but they actually had them fighting in the room to make it look as, as yeah. authentic as they could, you know? Yeah, and uh, what the one uh, animation supervisor was talking about, I, I think it's pretty clear that, like, while they're probably using some of that mocap data, it, it does seem like watching one and watching the other that it, it's more as animation reference because there are there are some slight, like, he, he talks about, like, uh, strong stances and mm -hmm. you know, lightsabers, you know, flashing a little hard, even though, or, or, or I'm supposed to say, they're, like, hitting faster, even though I feel like the the way that they would do lightsabers in the past, they would have these, like, <clears throat> moments where the lightsabers, like, stick together when they're fighting, you know? Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, I, you know, watching those, you know, I'm kind of, like, going through and just kind of, like, watching when it has, like, the actual episode and them fighting, and it's not a perfect match. So it kind of reminds me of when they were doing Gollum, and they're trying to figure out what they're going to do for Gollum, right? Yeah. And... The keyframe animators and the motion <coughs> capture people were kind of at war with what they were wanting to do, you know, because one thought, no, we can handle this. And the other thought, no, we can handle this. Um, so there's like more of like, no, it needs to be animation. And people are like, no, it needs to be yeah. live action. Yeah. Um, you know, because he had a line in here where it was like, we we want to make sure it's matching what we had done before. Yeah. Um, which, in my opinion, it doesn't. It's just way better than anything they had done. Yeah. And that's not that's not their fault. That's just that that's how good Ray Park is. <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. It has but, the, it has the footing. It has the movements. The yeah. waiting. You know, all of it's just so good. Yeah. The way he spins and. Yeah. You know, I, I love the I love the shot too of his like he's standing there and he he has that that eye the the eyes mm. that he does and I've yeah. seen him do that at cons too whenever yeah. like I don't know maybe there's like a. a a fan or something like that, or even like a kid mm -hmm. who's like, Oh, I want to you know, pose off. He has a saber and he does this, these, this sure. look, and then he starts moving and doing some stuff. And it, yeah, it, that's, it's Ray Park. Dude, it's so good. It is. But go ahead. Sorry. Um, well, no, I just like with the Gollum example, like what ended up happening is that, you know, Peter Jackson was the guy that's like, you know, we filmed Andy circus on set doing these things, just keyframe animate to him what he's doing. So they had to go like, and go back to scratch 
and remake Gollum to look like Andy Serkis to be able to capture his performance. And while it's not officially motion capture, mm -hmm. they are capturing his performance. And I feel like that's what's happening with this fight more than more than the actual motion capture. If so that you're makes saying any sense. They're, they're looking through it like what the fight was and then yeah. animating it to that fight. That's what it seems like to me. Um, <coughs> like just, you know. I, I think that they are capturing his performance. They, I mean, obviously, they had the tracking balls and all that stuff. Yeah. But, you know, it's. It, it, I, I think they did a good job marrying the two because I can understand, maybe, you know, like seeing, like, you know, sometimes in the background, you can see they're actually uh, doing a previs of what the movement looks like. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's going to look a little strange having that fluid of motion in that style. So I can see they probably put a lot of hidden work into making it match what they thought would match you know yeah but aside from all that it's just so fun to watch ray park work no yeah it, it is really good i can see some stuff that you mean like watching side by side yeah. there's a few like like ray park spins but darth maul is like spinning the saber as a whole yeah just to give like a different feel or maybe more in the animation style but yeah uh it kind of reminds me like um one of a trick that a lot of like facial animation people do is they actually have a mirror right beside their computer and they'll like start doing like okay if i was angry what is what is my how do my eyes wrinkle yeah. you know and they start doing that that's why you kind of see like you know like stuart freeborn whenever he made the uh the yoda mask it kind of looks like him a little bit <laughs> you know uh he like makes different things but sometimes that happens um because they're trying to capture a performance but here they obviously whether it's through the actual motion capture technology or just watching all this obvious reference footage they have they capture both lauren and ray very well mm -hmm. for what what this is technically cartoon fighting you know yeah so it's interesting too awesome. I, just, I just noticed in the background of uh seeing them fighting like mm -hmm. the, the the monitors they have showing like their two, the previs yeah, yeah they're two like going at it like at the same time yeah. i was like well that's kind of neat yeah it, it's cool. really cool i mean and once again sam whitwer can he can literally speak for me because he's like it's mall it's mall yeah. <laughs> you know and that to me says all the things that we were saying which is like having seen mall in the past it's nice but it wasn't quite darth mall but mm -hmm. what we saw here was darth mall you know yeah yeah, no, and and having that too. Like, I liked seeing both of them there, like mm -hmm. talking. Like, I love the shot of Sam and Ray, like yeah. in the, I don't know, whatever part of the studio they were in, like talking about yeah. it together. Because I, I feel like you so easily could have had like a, a feudy kind of thing or something. Because mm -hmm. like you know, I've heard of actors and stuff like, you know, no, that I'm this character. You know, you're not this. Yeah. character. But it seems I mean, like having it, an it, ownership of a character. Yeah, I it, get you. it feels like they together join in of like because I mean mm -hmm. Ray Park was never the voice anyway you know no. like he was the body in episode one and then uh, mm -hmm. it was uh dang what was his name um uh peter safinowitz safinowitz that sounds right is that is that right i don't know i'm probably have the uh the actual way his name is said wrong but something witch, yeah, right it was the, yeah the guy from Shaun of the dead the, the roommate that guy yeah but like have, having that, like, you know, going to cons and having, like, you know, mm -hmm. Maul, and you have yeah. Sam Whitworth signing for Maul, and then you have, you know, Ray Park signing for Maul, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of rivalry yeah. of any kind there. No. You know, they seem to, like, kind of have a joint ownership over him. And yeah. I hope I hope stuff like this could lead into seeing Maul in live action again like we did with Solo, because even in this little clip it here, they had Ray Park being, make you know, his makeup being done for yeah. for the Solo uh thing they did i i absolutely agree and i think that if people are making noise if they're saying that's what they want i mean i think disney's in a position where they're like okay all right what do fans want <laughs> you know um clone wars has been absolutely killing it and we need to be vocal about what we want i want more ray park darth maul sam Witwer stuff out there because i i feel like they haven't even begun to to show what they could do with with an on screen presence like that, yeah, no, I I, I agree. I mean, yeah. Darth Maul was such a fun cameo in Solo, but you didn't mm -hmm. get to see like the live action Ray Park yeah. Darth Maul that you could get. Yeah, you know, like that could be some really fun stuff, and just that, just that that voice that Sam Witwer brings to it now too, mm -hmm. which is I, I think is great. I hope I yeah. hope we get I hope Clone Wars like 
piques the interest of that, and then people are like, man, so where did he go then? We know Solo happened, and we know Rebels happened, mm-hmm. but what else happened, you know? I yeah. just hope that maybe people voice enough or have enough interest that Disney's like, you know what? Let's do something and show, like, where mm-hmm. did he go? Whether yeah. it's he's a villain for someone else, or he's, like, some kind of protagonist tr- for a while. Like, it'd be kind of neat yeah. following a villain as your protagonist against these other entities of some sort, you know? Mm-hmm. Like what? Whatever case they may do, yeah. Maybe I have to uh, in there too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I agree uh, wholeheartedly. Um, the, the last things I wanted to say like, again, like because it's so easy to focus on Ray, just focusing on Lauren here. Like, oh yeah. A couple of these sets, I'm you know, if I was shooting this, I would be like, all right, guys, you're gonna do this set up until this mark. Go like two moves ahead of it. And then for this spin, I gotta do a separate shot because you're gonna you're gonna fail that spin twenty times, but one of those times we'll get it right. But in the shot that we get to see, it's an uninterrupted set of moves in which she pulls off that spin in the air flawlessly. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was it was great. Like there's no cheating that. I'm just watching it right now. And granted, maybe there were, you know, a bunch of times that she dropped it, but in this one Yeah, and that's the one they like, showed, but Yeah, like I wouldn't have even attempted to try to do that all at once. <laughs> you know? It's no. really, really, really fantastic. So yeah. she no, did like absolutely I said, great. Watching the fight between the two in the in the episode. Like yeah. I loved so many of Ahsoka's mm-hmm. moves and what she was doing. Just because yeah. I love that that two handed you know, fighting method. Mm-hmm. Like the double blade saber is great, but and it's yeah. so iconic for like Maul to have. But I love that sure. she's fighting with the two sabers, and uh, Lauren did, I think, a yeah. fantastic job, especially being able to work with someone like Ray, who I feel like it could be intimidating. Mm-hmm. You know, but she she's yeah. doing great. Yeah, I mean, she's got the skill, she's got the <clears throat> the work ethic, and you know, Ray is right when it comes to like having these kind of things where you're doing it over and over and over again for a very long time. Like it, it can feel like a, a certain energy between two fighters, you know, like when we would, you know, when we would do fights, it would be like, all right, let's do that set, but let's do it at, let's do it at 20%. Mm-hmm. And then for some reason we would both know exactly what that meant. All right. Let's do it at 50%. We know ex- we would do the exact same rate, you know? So, I mean, there is a, a really cool synergy and, you know, if that doesn't work, it can really not, you know, it can make not make for kind of bad fighting. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I gushed over enough, I think. What about you, Aaron? No, yeah. Yeah. When we need to get into the next episode, I'm excited to see what happens yeah. next. So, yep. Excited. Uh, dreading a lot of different things. Oh, a lot it's almost over. But I but, thought it was uh, over before, so I'm so happy. I can't take it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, and if you're out there and you want to see uh, awesome lightsaber fights, you want to see more lightsaber fights, and for some reason you haven't, uh, Google lightsaber or YouTube lightsaber duel, and you might find Aaron fighting in a film called Ferocity. Uh, and I'm, I'll be surprised if you hadn't seen it. But if you haven't, you're gonna have a real good time watching that for the next three minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun fight. All right. Yeah. So, uh, all right. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, actually, very, very soon with the next episode of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be finishing off Clone Wars, and we also have Rick and Calvin going through Clone Wars for the first time, and they just ran into Maul. So, lots more Maul to be reacted to here on the channel. So, don't forget about that, and check out Patreon.com for early access, full length, and all that great stuff um, available for all the shows we cover. <laughs>